Now as we zoom in on two of these components, we can see a light blue and a dark blue component, representing a low and higher boiling point component. You will also notice there are glass indents in the column, and these are known as plates. In larger industrial distillation columns, the plates look like actual large discs with perforations. As the vapour from the distillation below rises up the column, it recondenses on the first plate before evaporation again and recondensing on the second plate. The process continues until the vapour enters a condenser and completely recondenses to a liquid before collection. It was found that by inserting more plates in the distillation column, more equilibrations occurred and the resolution of the distillation could be improved. For example, instead of being able to resolve a boiling point of a component of 60 from one at 61 degrees, extra plates in the column could now possibly resolve a boiling point separation of 60.0 from another compound with a boiling point of 60.1 degrees. Thus, plates became a measure of the efficiency of the distillation separation, and this measure was later used as a measure of chromatographic efficiency.